welcome to my channel. My name is Megan. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe below. We do a ton of unboxings as well as Nespresso content and reviews of products that will help make your life easier. So today we are doing a Nespresso review. These two Starbucks pods that I haven't tried before. I'm not sure if they were released like later than the other ones that I tried or what, but I'm pretty sure I did not try these two. So this is the Veranda blend. It's a blonde roast. It looks like it's about a like six, five or six intensity. Oh, it's a six intensity. <laughs> and it has a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce size. So that is the coffee size. In Latin America, coffee farms are often run by families with their own homes on the same land where the coffee grows. We've sipped coffees with these farmers for decades, sitting on their verandas, overlooking the lush beauty of the coffee trees rolling out in the distance. Most times it was a lightly roast coffee like this one, mellow and flavorful. It has toasted malt and baking chocolate notes, 100% Arabica coffee, and I think that's everything they say about it. So it is a Starbucks one, like I said, you can get this at like Target, I think Bed Bath & Beyond, but I've, been, I've found mine at Target before. So they also pack them a little differently than Nespresso packs theirs. So that's how they pack them, very secure. Sometimes I know the Nespresso boxes get a little bit crushed and then they're not as pretty as this. So this is, they all the Starbucks one have this like green dot on the bottom and then it says like a Starbucks Veranda blend or whatever it is. So it looks the same. It is, I do believe like Starbucks and Nestle like work together for this because it's still distributed by Nespresso and Nestle. USA, they just use the Starbucks trademark. But these are, if you don't have a Nespresso boutique near you, these are the only ones that you can get in the store. All the other like Nespresso pods you have to order online unless you have a Nespresso boutique near you. The Cafe Verona. This is also 100% Arabica coffee. This is what the box looks like. This coffee is a 7.7 .7 fluid ounce as well. It is a 10 intensity, so it's pretty strong for me. I'm not sure if that'll be too strong. They say this is a coffee for one true love and three names. We created it for a Seattle restaurant in 1975 as Jake's Blend. People loved it so much we began scooping it in our stores as 80-20 blend after the recipe. The love was so strong we finally made it official calling it Verona after the city that inspires so many. And it has dark cocoa and burnt sugar notes. This is what the inside looks like. It's kind of a purple. I was expecting it to be more brown, I think, but that is what it looks like. You can see it also has the green dot. I will brew these and then we'll try them black. Then I'll add some cream and sugar and drink them that way. So we'll be right back. So whenever the coffee is done, don't forget to release that pod. You don't want to leave the like brewing portion like in the pod like all day, but it's not a good thing. So this is the Cafe Verona. I'm just going to fold in that crema. Definitely too strong for me. It's very, very strong. If you like a strong coffee, you may like it. I feel like, what do they say? Burnt sugar. I feel like I can taste the burntness, if that makes any sense. Definitely not my favorite. Maybe my husband will like it more than I do, but it is pretty, pretty strong. So fair warning for the Cafe Verona one. Now this is the Cafe Veranda. It doesn't have much. I guess it does have a little bit of maltiness. So I think I I prefer this one for sure. It's still not my favorite. Like I think I like the Nespresso coffees better, but pretty good. I'm just gonna add some Splenda and my uh, oat milk Califia Farms like barista blend to them and see if I like them better. So this is the Veranda one. I definitely like it better. It's a little bit watery, I think, compared to 
like a higher intensity maybe. It's still good though. It definitely adding milk I think made it taste a little bit more watery than it did initially. I will still drink it. It's not like bad. So I did not actually add sugar to this one because I think I'm going to give it to my husband and he does not drink his coffee with sugar. But with the oat milk, it's definitely better. It's a little bit like richer I think um, and smoother to drink with that like creaminess. I think I like this better with the cream and the Veranda one worse, which is like kind of different for me because I don't like black coffee, but yeah, that's what I thought of these two Starbucks Nespresso pods. Let me know if you've tried any of the Starbucks pods and if you want to see a review of the other ones, I will link that video for you guys at the end. I did review, I think, five of the Starbucks flavors that are released also at Target. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.